Longevity and living longer is often thought to be only for the rich. You need to have millions of dollars to make yourself live longer. Well, that's not really the case. I personally have one of the slowest speeds of aging in the world that outperforms people like Brian Johnson, who spends $2 million a year to reverse his biological age. I'm going to tell you right now that I don't spend $2 million trying to reverse my age. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how much do I personally spend on slowing down my aging and promoting my longevity and how you can use it to create yourself a very cheap but do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. It's showtime. So let's begin. I have created like pretty much a very simple Excel spreadsheet of the things that I spend money on when it comes to like longevity and biohacking and those kind of things. So first off, we have food. I usually spend only like around 600, 700 euros. So I live in Estonia and uh, it is like cheaper to live here than California or even Switzerland or France or something, those other places. So usually my food expenditure is going to be like 600 euros, which is a bit higher than dollars. So in dollars, it's going to be like 650 to 700 uh, dollars per month on average on food. Now, the thing is that I also grow some of my own foods. I have like a mini garden and farm. I have uh, chickens and I hunt myself. So I have plenty of access to a lot of food that I can get for free, pretty much, you know, growing herbs and growing vegetables and growing chickens and uh, hunting animals uh, is cheap or it's, you know, it doesn't cost anything else but your time and the physical labor. Now, the food delivery is also something that I use. I have my own food company. So it's, it's the Crump Hemp Protein, which is super amazing, like cleanest plant-based protein in the world with no artificial ingredients, just hemp uh, flour and pea protein flour. And I usually, you know, walt that thing for myself as well, as well because I think it's, you know, tastes amazing and super nutritious and high protein. If you want to get a full breakdown and examples of the foods and what kind of actual foods do I eat, then check out my other video about it, where I show the foods that lower my biological age by 12 years. Next up, we have uh, supplements. So, um, you know, there are many supplements that I take. I don't have like some sort of crazy stack. <laughs> I don't take any like actual medical pharmaceuticals. I don't take like a ton of supplements. On average, I take maybe like 15 pills or capsules a day, which is significantly lower than some other biohackers who take like hundreds of pills a day. So I don't think that you necessarily need a lot of supplements. You would only need like the select few that give you the biggest bang for your buck, if that makes sense. If you don't have any limitations to your budget, then of course you could theoretically take 100 pills a day. But I, <laughs> I still think that it's still like, you know, if you get some things from your food, then you don't need them from a supplement. Like there's plenty of compounds that you can get from a food that you don't need, really need from a supplement. So like spermidine is a great example of that. Dietary spermidine intake is associated with reduced mortality, but it doesn't apply to supplements. So I don't think that is, there's no evidence to indicate that you would need to take a spermidine supplement or that a spermidine supplement would reduce your mortality risk. That only applies to dietary spermidine. Most of the supplements that I take generally are something that I don't get from food. You know, for like calcium alpha glutarate, you don't get that from food. You don't get NMN from food. You don't get certain other longevity supplements. So the only supplements that I take are mostly like longevity supplements. I don't take like nutritional supplements, if that makes sense. And, uh, you know, per month, on average, I might spend 300 euros, 400, depends on the month. And uh, of course, you have to average it out over the course of multiple months, because if I buy a supplement, then I usually buy in bulk, like I buy a large, uh, you know, package for pretty much like the entire year's worth of uh, supplements. So Do Not Age is a great example of that. They have amazing longevity supplements, and they have the option for like one month stack, but they also have the option for an entire year's stack. But then, you know, obviously the difference can be if you get the year stack, then usually let's say a year's stack of trimethylglycine or berberine or something like that is going to cost you over 300 alone to get the year's stack. <laughs> but the monthly stack is going to be 30 uh, euros, for example. So I usually buy the year stack because it's a bit cheaper that way. And it's also more convenient. You don't have to buy it that often. So I have like a year's stack of all these different supplements at my home already. And if you like average it out across the entire year, then it's going to be around 300, 400 euros uh, per month. You can also check out the video for my own personal supplement stack in the description. 
Next up, we have gym and fitness. This is obviously something that you don't really even need to spend money on. If you can work out outside, there's plenty of parks. There's plenty of workout, outdoor workout places. You can do pull-ups anywhere. You can do sprints. You can run everywhere. So working out can be free. Like you don't need any money to work out. You don't need any money to, you know, to spend on fancy equipment or anything of that. But I just, you know, go to the regular gym. I have a gym subscription. It's going to be like, you know, 20 euros per month or something like that. So it's very cheap and I don't really spend any other money on like exercise. The next category we have biohacks. So I do have like, you know, red light therapy. I have infrared sauna. I have different kinds of uh, biohacking gadgets and equipments. I wouldn't still categorize them in this video and you don't necessarily need to buy your own infrared sauna. Like an infrared sauna is gonna cost you over 3000 euros. It can even be like a 5000 euros if you get like a bigger infrared sauna or if you build your own sauna, which I also have like a traditional sauna, then you can spend up to like 10,000 euros on just building the sauna. But you don't need to do that. Like if you have a gym that has a sauna, then you can already cover that with your gym uh, subscription already. So you don't necessarily need to build your own sauna or buy your infrared sauna if you have a spa or if you have some sort of a you know gym that has already the spa spa facilities or saunas inside there but here you know biohacks are usually categorized things like ivs or something i had actually covid after my first the biological age test the covid and infections they're known to increase your biological age and because i'm trying to like actually break my own record <laughs> again to lower my speed of aging even more then uh, I did IV to kind of accelerate my recovery. And in that scenario, it makes sense. If you had COVID, the glutathione IV makes sense and uh, it's going to help your body to recover. But I was, I think, already pretty recovered. I did it more like uh, insurance policy and the IVs, they're going to cost you yeah, like 150, sometimes even more if you get like a bigger cocktail of these uh, antioxidants and stuff. But I just did like a regular NEC glutathione IV, costed like 150 euros, which is uh, pretty cheap. And I don't do it every month. I do it, you know, once a year, twice a year, something like that. And last category here is like testing. So this includes blood tests or the actual biological age tests. So I've actually spent uh, quite a lot on different tests. I've done like almost all the tests um, in terms of the DNA methylation clocks. I've used like three or four companies to measure my biological age and uh, to do it as, as an experiment to see what goes on. And uh, yeah, like blood work, you don't need to obviously do that either every month, maybe once or twice a year is what I would do a blood work. And uh, generally like a regular health checkup with some of the most important markers like cholesterol, blood sugar, etc. You would only pay like a hundred at a private laboratory or clinic or something like that. If you can get it from your doctor for free, then that's obviously gonna be free. But uh, yeah, like usually doctors don't want to do the blood work <laughs> because they think that there's nothing wrong with you. But uh, you know, probably the tracking your blood work is one of the most important parts of uh, you know longevity because you know what's wrong, what you need to improve on, what you need to fix. Big mistake. So if you sum it up, these main categories, like on average per month, I might spend you know 1,300 euros on my biohacking or <laughs> health routine. But you know, obviously most of it is like just living, food and gym and uh, supplements and those things is very cheap as you can see it's not uh, that expensive of course uh, it's for estonian uh, like say prices it is above average of the average salary in estonia but it's not something that breaks the bank and of course you can cut out a lot of the things that i do like you can spend less on supplements you can spend less on testing or biohacks so etc and i've also pretty much calculated like what I've spent this year or the first six months of 2023 on all of these biohacks. So uh, if you span it out over the course of six months, then some of the costs might reduce or they might increase this approximation again. So on average, on six months, I'll spend like, you know, 3,500 on food, 1,200 on food deliveries or restaurants, eating out uh, supplements, 1,600. Uh, gym 150 for the entire six months of uh, the gym subscription biohacks or the IVs whatever 250 and testing so this is higher because I bought like a bunch of these DNA methylation clock tests I've have like you know five or six of these tests that I bought and uh, they can range anywhere from 300 to 500 per test I do it as an experiment you don't need to measure your speed of aging that often if you do it once and okay everything is fine then that's already good enough but uh, if you want to like keep more track or if you have more disposable income then you can just uh, buy them more frequently but you don't obviously need to buy six tests uh, over the course of six months <laughs> like I did or something like that so yeah in total you know six months I've spent eight thousand nine thousand somewhere between there 
uh, euros on my health routines, if that makes sense. And uh, if I keep in track of this, then for this entire year, I'll be spending only like 15,000 euros, 16,000 euros on my health routine. And as you can see, it's not that expensive. On average per year, it's going to be around 1,000 euros, 1,500 euros at max, depending on your routine choice of what supplements you take, etc. So as you can see, this longevity stuff, this health stuff, and uh, trying to slow down your speed of aging and trying to promote longevity, it's not expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive. But I hope you got some valuable information from this video. Make sure you check out my other videos outlining my diet, my supplement routine, my workout protocol. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.